Great Torridus. How many are left, soldier? 10,000 men! I'm standing right next to you. You don't have to shout! It was then God had to have another little chat with his pal Gideon. Gideon, your army is still too big. Ah, but we're sharp. We are the best. The best remain. We got rid of all the flotsam and the gentle. We have the cream of the crop. Gideon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take them down by the water for a drink. Watch what they do. Only keep those men who drink with one hand while keeping their other hand on their soul. You see, God only wanted men who stayed ready for battle at any moment. The guys who just bent over and used both hands to drink the water, lapping it up like a puppy dog. They weren't ready to pull out their swords if their enemies suddenly showed up. So, Gideon watched all the men. Only the ones who kept one hand on their sword while drinking with the other got to stay. And you know what? There weren't that many left. So, how many are left now, soldier? Three hundred! Three hundred men, sir. Quite a difference, huh? He went from having 32,000 to just 300. God spoke to Gideon. Get up. Go down and attack the camp of the Midianites. I will allow you to defeat them. Man, there's nothing like having God himself tell you. Yes, I will take care of you. Yes, you will win this battle. You don't have to be afraid. <laughs> but you know what? Gideon was still a little nervous about this. I mean, when you think about it, he did only have 300 soldiers, and they had to fight thousands and thousands of Midianites, strong men. So God told him to go spy on the Midian camp and listen to what their soldiers were talking about. Gideon crept over the hill and listened. They heard one of the Midianite soldiers say, I just had this really bad dream. I think it means that Gideon dude and his army are about to defeat us. Gideon was excited. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, God. Gideon knew he could trust God. Wasn't that nice of God to give him that little bit of encouragement? So, Gideon took his 300 men, gave each one a lantern inside a clay jar and a trumpet. And when the signal was given, every man broke the clay jar. The lantern shined forth. They blew their trumpets and they charged the armies of the Midianites, catching them by surprise. his army just like he promised <laughs> isn't it awesome to know we have a god we can trust all the enemy ran away all the enemy ran away victory came from god today victory came from god today fire lock one two fire lock three four fire lock one two three four one two three four There were two people who seemed to have the worst luck in the world.